assalamu alaikum i hope you guys are doing well so today the topic that we are going to discuss is inguinal canal so what basically is inguinal canal so as a word canal so it means that it there it there is an opening right so one opening is uh, to the lateral side and one opening is to the medial side so the medial one is a superficial and the lateral one is the deep so this is known as superficial inguinal ring and this is known as the deep inguinal ring so uh, different structures can pass through this uh, canal okay so here you guys can see that inferior epigastric vessel is marked it is important to know because the there are different sort of uh, hernias uh, for example direct hernia um, or indirect hernia so in order to differentiate between these two so you need to know inferior epigastric the location of inferior epigastric vessels because the structures medial if the protrusion of the hernia is from this opening then it is going to be direct inguinal hernia so always remember that uh, for example dm so mnemonic is dm so direct in d for direct inguinal hernia and m for medial so so the one that is medial to the Uh, medial to the inferior epigastric vessel is the direct inguinal hernia and so the left so the lateral one is going to be indirect in, inguinal hernia okay so now let's discuss about the anatomy of different structures that it is uh continuing the canal so let's see here you guys can see this is the femoral vein this is the artery and here is going to be the nerve so v a n medial to lateral v a n okay then this is this white one is the external oblique aponeurosis then there is the internal oblique because you are going from external to internal so external oblique then internal oblique then transverse abdominis then there is a fascia that is the transverse salis and then there is the extra peritoneal fat so as you guys can see that here uh, it contains this external oblique aponeurosis contains opening then there is this second and third opening and then here is another opening so this opening is a deep inguinal ring okay so uh, this was just a uh, really easy okay so uh, here uh, you guys can see that i have marked that external oblique aponeurosis is going to be having the first opening as described over here then sec second opening is in internal oblique this one this you guys can see here then third opening is over here so this was it so i hope you guys guys have uh, learned about this topic so if you guys have then do subscribe and like my channel thank you so much